solidarity, unyieldingness, hostility, opportunity, and mental fortitude. He referred to her as my woman and depicted her as paradise and upset and made her a wellspring of life and coherence. Nazar Kabani is a writer of Ladies in Love who gave his verse and books to featuring the job of ladies in the public eye, presence and life, portraying her as everything extraordinary in the public arena. He celebrated all aspects of its creation, as he was exposed to numerous reactions in view of his misrepresentation in portraying ladies, as some saw that this embellishment surpassed Middle Easterner and Islamic ethics and values. I read the book of womanhood, letter by letter, and I actually don't have the foggiest idea of what happens in ladies' minds. Kabani portrayed in his own language, as well as being strong in his language and picking his points, the lady in a picture that is hard to draw. In his most conspicuous sonnets, My Woman, Kabani reflected in his verse, which was portrayed by effortlessness and way of talking, the character and job of ladies in impacting men through their knowledge. Al-Kabani zeroed in the majority of his sonnets on the idea of a lady's battle to accomplish herself and her womanliness, and the secret mystery behind that was his sister's self-destruction in his experience growing up, after her family constrained her to wed a man she didn't cherish, which left a profound effect on himself, which was subsequently demonstrated in his confidential journals, where he expounded on his sister's self-destruction, he said, the image of my sister biting the dust. For adoration is engraved in my, my tissue. Her demise was more gorgeous than Rabia al -Adawiya. The artist of affection depicted the lady in nine sentences. Trust. Nazar Kabani lauded the term and job of the lady himself when he said, you are a lady who stays a woman at all times. Being a woman, you need to realize that you are half of life, and that you are the whiteness, that you are the spring, and a drop of downpour for a fruitless land. Determination Kabani expounded on ladies' determination in two sentences, when an obstinate young lady tells you, presently, realize that she cherishes you and love arrives at the pinnacle when a lady surrenders her tenacity. Influence Force the writer of Adoration referenced the force of ladies' impact and that they do and influence men with little words through which they can steer a man's life. In the most natural-sounding way for him, the man says in the lady what he wants, but the lady does in the man what she needs. He likewise summed up her solidarity when he said, each lovely lady is normally equipped. Secret Nazarin noticed the lady's secret, her extraordinary knowledge, and the absence of an unmistakable comprehension of what is happening in her mind in his well-known sentence, I read the book of womanliness letter by letter. I actually don't have any idea what happens in ladies' minds. Accuracy and choice. Kabani typified the lady in his sonnets as the sovereign, who has no equivalent, and that she doesn't settle on a choice besides in the wake of considering and that she is precise in her decisions, whether it is a decision connected with her sentiments or her public life, and he said, when a lady resorts to you, you kick the bucket for her. The best of men. Upset and opportunity. In his sonnets, the holy person of words associated the female with every one of the highlights of thriving and culture, when he said, civilization is female, culture is female, language is female, the sonnet is female, the tree is female, and upheaval is female. Modesty and Dauntlessness In the most natural-sounding way for him about ladies, the artist of adoration joined the logical inconsistencies, as he underscored that she can consolidate various qualities from others in circumstances, where he said, bashful, yet she knows very well when to be striking. Those are the most grounded ladies. Knowledge the lady's writer discussed her knowledge and her insightfulness at the hour of quietness, saying, the lady's quiet is an admonition message to the man that he is near the precarious edge of dropping out of her heart. Progression Nazar Kabani depicted ladies in the most natural-sounding way for him as the justification behind life, and that she and love are the premise of congruity throughout everyday life, and that without them there is no life, saying, love and ladies are the justification for the continuation of the universe. Quiet in the Grounds of Magnificence Jamal 2A Sonnet to an Understudy 3 Different Sonnets by Nazar Kabani as in other recognized sonnets that are as yet alive and communicated by sweethearts and vocalists and writers exploit them as rich turning material for their melodies. 
A sonnet to a student tell me, regardless of whether an untruth, delicate words a sculpture nearly killed me with you are still in the craft of adoration a kid, between you and me there are oceans and mountains you have not yet had the option to comprehend that, all men, are youngsters, I won't be a bantam bozo whose words he tricks, so in the event that I stand before your excellence quiet quietness in the safe haven of magnificence, the excellence of our words in adoration, kills our affection. The letters bite the dust when accounts of enthusiasm are told, they have debased you. They are all unconsciousness. What's more, a fantasy. What's more, the dream of affection is certainly not an oriental novel with its decision, the legends get hitched, yet it is cruising without a boat, and our inclination that appearance is unthinkable is that it stays on the fingers jerk and on dried lips and inquiry is the stream of distresses in our profundities, plants develop around it. Furthermore, the grain. These emergencies pound us together. So we kick the bucket. Furthermore, trusts bloom. It is that we revolt for any trifling thing. Who kills, don't put the sculpture in it's in a horrible mood, for how much a sculpture cried in its quiet. A little stone might grow and streams and shadows stream from it. I love you through my downturn. Different sonnets by Nizar Kabani coming up next are some of Nizar Kabani's melodious sonnets. The sonnet of September verse generally accompanies the downpour and your beautiful face generally accompanies the downpour and love possibly starts when the downpour music begins. On the off chance that September comes, my affection, I get some information about your eyes each cloud, as though my adoration for you is attached to the planning of the downpour. Fall scenes incite me, your wonderful pallor incites me, the blue congenital fissure incites me, and the silver studs in the ears incite me. The cashmere sweater and the yellow and green umbrella incite me. The morning paper incites me like a lady who jabbers. The smell of espresso on dry paper incites me. So how would it be advisable for me to respond? Between the lightning blazing in my fingers and the expressions of the savior? Toward the start of fall, a peculiar sense of safety and peril comes over me. I dread that you will move toward me. Is the long stretch of September that keeps in touch with me? Or on the other hand, is it the downpour that keeps in touch with me? You are an uncommon winter franticness, I wish I knew lady the relationship of frenzy to rain. My woman, who passes like surprise in the place that is known for individuals, grasping a sonnet. What's more, in the other hand a moon. O lady I love, who causes verse to detonate when she steps on any stone, O lady who conveys in her paleness every one of the distresses of trees, how wonderful is exile in the event that we are together, O lady who sums up my set of experiences and the historical backdrop of downpour. When I chose to expound on my involvement with affection, I thought a great deal, what is the utilization of my admissions? Before me, individuals expounded on affection a great deal. They portrayed it on the walls of caverns, and in stoneware and earth vessels. Before, they engraved it on elephant ivory in India, on papyrus in Egypt and on rice in China. What's more, gave it contributions, and gave it promises. At the point when I chose to distribute my contemplations on affection, I wavered a ton. I'm not a minister, nor did I work on showing understudies, and I don't trust that roses are obliged to make sense of aromas for individuals. What am I composing, lady? It is my experience alone. Furthermore, it concerns me alone. The sword penetrates me alone. So it increments with death and presence. At the point when I went on your ocean, my woman. I didn't take a gander at the guide of the ocean, nor did I convey with me an elastic boat. Nor a lifesaver. Rather, I progressed to your fire like a Buddhist. What's more, picked destiny. My pleasure was to compose with chalk. My location on the sun. What's more, my child over your scaffold's bosoms. At the point when I went gaga for you. I saw that the red cherries in our nursery became round ashes. What's more, that the fish scared of the youngsters snare. Come in millions to toss seeds into our shores. What's more, that the cypress has expanded in level. What's more, that life has expanded in broadness. What's more, that God. Has he at long last gotten back to earth? 
At the point when I cherished you, I saw that late spring comes multiple times to us each year, that wheat grows multiple times for us each day, that the moon escaping from our town leases a house and a bed, and that sweat blended in with sugar and star anise has had intercourse so sweet. At the point when I cherished you, the chuckling of the kids on the planet became better, the flavor of bread better, the fall of snow better, the howling of dark felines in the road better, the hand-to-hand -hand gathering on the red walkways better, the little drawings we leave in the cafe towel better, the tasting of dark espresso, smoking, and the night clearing on Saturday night and the sand that it keeps our bodies from the end of the week, and the copper variety on your back after summer. Ventures better. What's more, the magazines on which we dozed. What's more, loosened up. What's more, talked for a really long time on them became birds not too far off of memory. At the point when I adored you, my woman, they favored me. All the pineapple trees with your eyes. Furthermore, a great many sections of land of daylight. They gave me the keys to the sky. They gave me decorations. Furthermore, they gave me silk. Just the people who are lost in the profundities of the seas know it until the end of time. What am I expounding on your affection, lady? All my memory recalls is that I got up in the first part of the day to consider myself to be-